Hi Virgo. <clears throat> How are you? Just getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what energies and messages we have for you surrounding your love life. What messages do we have for the sign of Virgo concerning their love life? What messages do we have for the sign of Virgo, please, concerning their love life? Here we go. Three of Cups, nice energy, celebrations. Ten of Wands, wow. Cycle in your life is coming to an end. Page of Wands, moving in a new direction. Two of Wands in the past, you feel you've just connected with somebody. Queen of Cups, oh there's love here. Page of Pentacles, well, an offer, an apology. Things changing and assessing the risks, assessing all that's involved. Ten of Cups, lovely energy to be in. Eight of Wands, could be travel here. Judgment, making a, a major judgment call. Hangman. Wow, leaving stuff behind, moving on, letting new things come into your life. Summary for this reason, for this reading, I feel in the past you reconnect, you connected with somebody. They, it's given you reason to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> Sorry about that. And... You are shouldering a lot of burdens at the moment. That's what's challenging you. But there is love here. And there is the chance to go off in a new direction. You know, and you'll assess what's going on and whether to move forward. I, f I feel there's a, there's a proposal here, an offer. And it's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid offer. It's pentacles. Ground, very well grounded. There's communication and travel here. And, you know, in the outcome, it will certainly give you something to think about before you make any big decisions. Okay, let's see. Let's take this three of cups. Oh yes, you're feeling quite pleased with yourself at the moment. I'm sensing you're very, very confident. You know, you, you're feeling good in your own skin. You're feeling very, very independent too. Whatever this is, you're feeling you're feeling good. You're feeling good. What's this ten of wands? Yeah. Something has the air of distraction about it. Now you you're shouldering a lot of burdens and that's everyday burdens you know the house the job and it's it's causing you quite a headache at the moment although you feel good on the surface you're looking good on the surface you know underneath your you're thinking you know how can I play this out how can I bring it into fruition how can I make it good for me now for some of you I feel you're already involved with somebody and you want to become independent
from this person that you're in and I'm getting you'll have the chance to go your own way but that'll carry a lot of responsibility and the, the situation you're in is carrying a lot of responsibility as well this is what's causing the you know the the distress Let's see what this page of wands I feel you've received a message or will receive a message You know, but progress is slow. You know, you want to take action, but with all these influences we have on the outside and for your particular circumstances, it's it's making progress very, very slow. And it, it's, it is, it's like dragging you back and it's causing you a, a bit of an headache and you, you feel as if you've got a 10 ton weight on your shoulders. Let's see what this two of wands Yeah, this is justice. I feel this was brought into play for you because the universe sees something better for you. But at the moment, you know, the physical attributes of your situation is holding you back. And, you know, you feel probably obliged to the person you're connected with at the moment. So what this Queen of Cups is all about. Wow, this keeps coming back. Yeah, it's brought back some memories. You know, this offer coming in. This news, if you haven't received it yet, I feel you're about to. Somebody from the past. And it could be just a friend. Doesn't necessarily have to be an ex. But with the Queen of Cups here, I feel this is an ex-lover. And it's brought back some very emotional memories. Could even be an apology attached to this. Let's see what this page of pentacles is all about. Yeah. Serendipitous and it's a question of timing. You know, there you are. You want to move forward, but you're waiting for the right time. Or this person's waiting for the right time, who you're connecting with. But looks on your side, it's as if circumstances will change on their own and all you'll have to do is sit back and assess what's going on and then decide whether you want to go for it. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yeah. You want to move to your Ten of Cups, but you know, you're still held back by this situation you're in. Now it could be monetary worries as well. You know, trouble with money holding you back, stopping you achieving this, but it's a passing phase this. There's five of pentacles. You know, there is hope there. Look at the stained glass window. It's shining. It's dark out here, but that's shining. You've only got to turn around and see the light. You know, this could be just the way you're feeling, emotionally mixed up. Let's see what this eight of wands. Yeah. Somebody wants to host you. Somebody wants to take care of you. You know, and make life comfortable for you. This big judgment card. What's this judgment card? Yep. There's a decision here to move on. Take a journey. You know, leave your emotional clutter behind, leave your mental baggage behind and just move on 
till I feel a better place with this Six of Swords. This, this hangman, what's it all about? Ah, there you go. Hangman, the world. I feel this is adjusting to a new community, new friends, making new friends. And it could even be a different culture altogether. And therefore you will have to adjust to a different culture. You will have to fit in and getting fitting in, make some adjustments, let some old stuff go, let even let some of old beliefs go. There's, you know, there's a changing of mind here, an adjustment, bigger, big adjustment in the future. It's looking good. There's a good chance here to move on and improve your life. That's what I'm getting. Whether you actually want it, it is only a general reading and we do have free will. On that note, I wish you well and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.